Welcome to Charles Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Monday the 30th of January comes to you from London. And we've got quite a bit of red on the screen this morning. Uh, looking at the dollar index, we are still fairly flat. This 105 level is really the ceiling and we're quite a way below that. And we've got targets below 100 on the short term chart. This is my weekly, daily and 60 minute chart, my long term, medium term and short term view of the market with the corresponding point and figure target. So we're seeing that that means that the euro is actually now nudging 109. So um, that's quite significant, pushing to 110. That 17 target's passed. We've got the targets here to 110, 114, 90, 111, 50. So lots of short term upside targets. That dollar weakness is still very much a thing. So sterling is actually a little bit weaker, sitting at uh, just below 124, just struggling there. And if we look at it against uh, the euro, sitting fairly static at around 113, just really just gradual decline against the euro. So not showing any great strength there. Bitcoin is holding $23,000. It is actually down 2.5%, uh, but it is holding $23. So that is quite significant. And if we look at the futures today for the US markets, we're down about 1% on the S&P future and down 1.4% uh, on, on the NASDAQ future. So uh, we will see US markets opening lower based on those futures. And we're already quite a way into the morning in London. Uh, we're seeing European markets down as a result. We've got the DAX in Germany down 1%. Uh, so that's quite significant. Uh, Still above the cloud medium and short term, but that uh, that lag lagging line on the weekly just not managing and a shortage of upside targets to the recent move. So that's quite significant. Seeing uh, looking at the CAC current, that was down 0.8%. The Hang Seng down 2.7%. So uh, quite a bit weaker there as well. Uh, we're seeing China uh, fairly uh, static. Look at the uh, Sensex in India. Um, we're up 0.3% there. Adani, of course, the main story there at the moment. And if we look at the Aussie market down very slightly, having had a shorter week after Australia Day last week, we'll look at the um, uh, energy mix in a minute. Looking at gold, we're sitting at 1922. So still just holding that level um, and holding above the cloud. Just short term, we're in a little bit of a range trade here. Uh, we have got targets to around 1950. So waiting for those to be fulfilled looking at and the short term chart is where we'll see those come in first of course silver just struggling at the $24 mark just couldn't quite get through there this is a consolidation phase probably before we run again we've got an upside target here some 33% higher on silver US 10 year yields back above three and a half percent so looking a little bit stronger there uh, so that's going to be quite key and if we look at some of the tech majors Apple um, sitting at 145 that's quite a way below above that 130 level that was critical and of course Tesla has been a real star uh, in the last few weeks up from a low of 100 to 177 so up 77 percent this year really quite something uh, so Tesla shareholders getting a bit of a retrieve all the traders who've gone into it the energy mix we're seeing um, Brent crude we're in a real range here at the moment between sort of 85 and 89 uh, and if we look at WTI this morning we did call this bearish because we were breaking out of that range uh, with downside targets dominating uh, US nat gas sitting at 272 bearish while we're below three emissions just just sitting at 89.99, just struggling at this 90 resistance level that we saw in December. So we've had a very strong week last week, but uh, the reality is on the uh, short term, we've got a little bit of a mixed picture, but looking still pretty bullish. 92.40 is the target there. Looking at uh, TTF, we've got, uh, we're up 3.5% this morning. Still pretty bearish on the charts. We have got some relief targets kicking in uh, since the open. And if we look at uh, MVP, that's up 4% as well. We actually have run a consensus on TTF for the year. Uh, on LinkedIn this morning and a lot of votes kicking in there but it would be interesting to put the results out when they're done and German powers up four percent as well so the energy mix doing pretty well that's it for Monday morning until tomorrow happy charting see you then